We have spoken enough about Oli's statement and his decisions and his provocations. But what about the man himself? K.P. Sharma Oli is not your traditional politician. He's a school dropout. He was sent to jail at the age of 22, not for any civil offence, but for the murder of a man. Dharm Prasad Dhakal, a farmer in eastern Nepal. This is something that Oli does not talk about very much and understandably so. Oli was born in the year 1952 in eastern Nepal. He was called Dhruba as a child and raised by his grandmother. His mother died because of smallpox when he was just four years old. old. When Oli turned 18, he signed up for the Communist Party. Almost immediately, he was arrested. Oli spent 14 years in jail. The Prime Minister rarely refers to his time in jail, but those who know him well say that he was moulded by his experiences there. Oli was released after getting a royal pardon in the mid-1980s. He got a break in politics in 1991 when he was elected to Parliament. He was one of the strongest critics of the Maoists throughout the insurgency, the insurgency that left 17,000 people dead. This was also the phase where he developed a rivalry with Push Kamal Dehel or Prachand. Both communists, but Prachand went the other way. He launched an armed insurgency in Nepal. He adopted Maoism with an aim to finish the monarchy. When the peace process ended in 2006, Prachand won big. He was elected Prime Minister first in 2008, then again in 2016. This was, this was after Oli was ousted from office. Prachand and Oli have been in government together before. They were coalition partners. In 2015, Oli came to power with support from Prachand and at least 13 other parties. One year later, Prachand withdrew support. The alliance broke because Oli refused to share power as promised. So Prachand joined ranks with the opposition, formed a government. He became prime minister. Nepal, you see, is a new democracy and coalition governments are the norm here. In 2017, Oli and Prachand came back together, an uneasy marriage arranged by China. They decided to contest the 2017 election together. They merged their parties. And three years after that election, the daggers are drawn again. Today, KP Sharma Oli is known as the face of Nepali nationalism, or so he would like to believe. But that wasn't always the case. In 1996, Oli had split from his own party all because he wanted to support India in a deal. He was backing the Mahakali River Water Sharing Agreement. Oli's shift to China is also fairly recent, driven by political and economic considerations. In 2016, he signed a deal with Beijing, one that gave Nepal access to dry ports and rail links from China for the first time. And since then, the partnership has only grown. Today, China drives the political choices of K.P. Sharma Oli. Choices that have damaged India's ties with Nepal and have brought Oli to the brink of his ouster.